Hi everyone, this is Merly and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will talk about how to use a pit palette. This one is a 72 pit palette kit and uh, for me this is a very easy way to start your seeds. Like if you are a complete beginner, you can never go wrong with using the pit pellets. If you are planting about 72 plants, this would be a good kit for you. Plus, this comes with a bonus set of six plant markers. Um, it has a um, humidity dome to keep the moisture inside while you are waiting to germinate the seeds. It has 72 pieces peat pellets uh, which is made of peat moss the actual size of the pellet is 36 millimeters so um, let's just uh, slide this uh, label off so you can see the inside of the tray so this is what it looks like let's remove this clear plastic this is the humidity dome and then you're gonna put this on top after you plant your seeds so let's remove that for now and then let's remove these plant markers as well I'm not gonna need these markers until I uh, transfer my seedlings to a bigger pot okay so with this one um, there are 12 pellets in a row and then there are six rows I already have a plan on what to put in this tray um, instead of 72 i'm just gonna be using 70 peat pellets so i'm going to remove this two down here and i'm going to uh, transfer these two pellets to a tray together with my other refill pellets okay so now i have 70 and why do i need just 70 um it's because I'm going to be planting 10 plants each of San Marzano tomatoes, tomato, Roma, red cherry, purple bumblebee, and moneymaker tomatoes. So they will go right here and then 10 pieces of the crimson sprinter. Um, also, I usually remove one pellet. Um, in this case, I'll just remove two. Um, so this is where I'm going to pour the water whenever I uh, water my seedling. So that's going to make it easier to pour the water inside the tray without pouring it on top of the pellet or on top of the seedling itself. These pellets are very dry, so the probability of having some fungus gnats larva in here is very low but then I will go ahead and add boiling water to my pellets um, instead of the warm water that is uh, written in the instructions now if you want to use warm water that is fine as well so I have my water ready I'm just gonna pour this on top of the peat pellets uh, because there are no seeds or plants in the pellets yet it's okay to just pour the water on top of the pellets but once you already have some uh, plants growing in here you don't want to pour the water directly on top of your plants and that's one of the reasons also why I wanted to leave a spot open in this tray and I don't use all of the 72 pellets in here as you can see the peat pellets have expanded already and uh, let's uh, get this out it is about one and a half inches tall if you have added too much water to it you're supposed to pour the excess water out you don't want to let your peat pellets soak in the water when you plant it um, this is a little bit warm so I'm gonna wait for my peat pellets to completely cool down before planting you don't want to cook your seeds so make sure to check the temperature of your peat pellets before 
sowing your seeds if you are using the boiling water method. It's been almost an hour and my peat pellets are already cold. So I'm going to go ahead and open the top of the pellet using a toothpick. Some of them are already open. Now this one needs to be opened a little bit more. And then I'm just going to stir the top of the peat pellet a little bit to kind of loosen it up. Okay, so let's just do that to all 70 pellets. I am done opening the top of the peat pellets and I have stirred the top of the pellet using the toothpick. And so um, here is my plan again. And um, this tray is going to be for seven different tomatoes. I'm not going to use this plant marker. I'm going to save this for later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the front of this tray with a sticker. So I just wrote the word front and it goes onto this side. So it's right there. So I know that this is the front and then I have this chart that I wrote on a piece of paper. So I'm going to know that the top row which is two, four, six, eight, ten, up to here would be the San Marzano and then second row, 10 pieces would be tomato, Roma, red cherry tomatoes, purple bumblebee, and moneymaker here on the end. And then the last two columns right here, these are the crimson sprinters. So that should be two, four, six, eight, and ten. I have also written down how many seeds I'm going to put in each pellet. So for example, the tomato is two seeds per cell. So that's going to be 10 pieces of peat pellets times two. So I'm going to need 20 seeds. Roma is the same. I have a lot of red cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to put three in each. I'll probably end up dividing this if the plants are big um, and then the crimson sprinter uh, that's 10 pieces of pellets times two seeds in each pellet so I'm gonna follow this one and then let's get to planting so we have this San Marzano it goes on the top I'm just gonna put three seeds of San Marzano tomatoes in each pellet. the seeds um, currently they're on top of the pellet so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push them down using a toothpick we will just make sure that they are 
discovered in the growing medium. Sometimes when you push them down, they go back up. So you just have to be patient and you push the seed down again. It's just normal for some of them to stick to your toothpick. So when they come back up, push them down. That's how easy it is, guys, to start your seeds using the peat pellets. The last step would be to put the humidity dome on top of your tray. I'm going to keep this in here until my seeds start germinating. This should keep the moisture inside um, so your pellets will not dry out real quick. I will check this one um, every day to see when the seeds have germinated already. So for the meantime, I'm going to put my tray in my grow shelf. It's a, I have a grow light set up um, right here. So they're gonna stay in there. And this is the front, so I'll have to carry it like this. All right, let's go. This is my grow light shelf. I have some sweet potatoes and ginger growing. Um, and then this is the tray that has the tomatoes, 70 tomatoes. Um, I did not turn the lights on yet because I don't need the lights until my seeds germinate. You don't need the light to germinate the seeds, but as soon as those seeds start sprouting, you're gonna need the light. I'm gonna have to adjust this. Uh, has to be about two inches away from the seedlings. If you learned something from this video, click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time.